that's how you piss off the internet by cutting up a 240. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Sammy and today we're going on a parts run for the 240 and I'm not going to spend any money. Stay tuned. Alright, so for the grocery list today on the car, I'd like to find maybe some headlight covers, a door panel for the interior, the interior for the trunk and for the back seat. I do plan to have this entire car full interior as well as I'm actually going to get an entire quarter cut, just this whole piece right here. Actually, it's going to be like all the way down here, down, get the entire dog leg there, all the way around. So I'm actually going to try and get an entire quarter cut for this car because this car has been crashed. I won't go into too much detail right now, but the door jams crumpled, the over fenders covering a lot of ugly damage. So today is going to consist of loading this 2JZ GE into the back of my truck and driving out into the boonies of the desert, meeting up with a friend of mine who's got a junkyard, essentially, full of 240s. I hit him up and I said, hey man, I got this JZ, I need a whole bunch of stuff for my car, let's make a deal. So we're going to load this 2JZ up into the bed of my truck, run out to his house, and we're going to take a sawzall, we're going to cut quarter panel off of a hatch that he's got. I'm going to try and grab as much interior as I can, all the bits and pieces I might be missing. But like I said, I'm not spending any money on this car. This, as much as I've had it, I got the car not running with no interior, uh, just all kind of issues on this car. I haven't put any money into it. The only thing, there's one thing I bought. I didn't even buy it. It was $7.99. Tom bought it for me. <laughs> I told him I was going to get it in like a week. He's like, no, no, we'll get it now. So. Yeah, no, the whole point of this car is I'm going to I'm gonna build this into a beautiful drift car, just a show car drift queen is kind of what I've dubbed the name of this car. And like I said, I'm not really trying to put any money into this car, just effort. So I'm going to show you guys what it takes, just a little bit of effort. All right, so I got the motor over here at the front of the garage, now ready to load it in the bed of the truck. Got to go get the hoist at my buddy's house. Also made up a tool bag for myself, just everything I think I might possibly need when running into cutting out a quarter panel or removing the interior. So I brought a couple extra uh, cutoffs, um, all the screwdrivers, safety glasses, uh, full wrench set, socket set. So we should be pretty good on tools. Just got to load this up and then we'll be on our way out to his house. Alright, so I went and picked up Tom. We're loading up the Jay-Z now. Just got it on a chain, some cardboard. So, we're off to the yard. All right, so we got the motor loaded in the back of the truck. We're about ready to head out, so let's go look at that 240. All right, so we made it out to the yard. Got a 240 here, we're about to get ready to cut up. And then this blue 240 is the one I'm going to take all my interior out of. So this one's got a nice clean quarter panel. So we're going to cut like the entire, entire quarter panel off and even into the door here. And then this one over here has got all the, most of the trunk interior, seats, carpet. Hopefully it's all pretty good. So also a door panel. Get in that door panel. I'm excited, you guys. We're gonna get to work. All right, you guys, we are five minutes in. It is 250 degrees outside. We've got the interior practically all pulled out of the way so we can work in here. Let me climb in. Okay, so we're just pulling the tail lights out. I'm gonna pull this glass out so we don't break the glass. And I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut along here. Down along here, and I think right here, or maybe even a little forward, I'm going to cut. And then we'll probably chop here, because I don't need the roof or anything. And then I'll chop right there, and then chop BAM. So we're just taking the entire inner and outer quarter panel, because I need all this uh, framing too. On my car, it's, it's gone. And I need the door jam. Okay. So... In another five minutes, we'll get the shop saws out and start cutting. All right, so we got to pull the bumper off of this car in order to get ready to start cutting. So I'm looking over here on this green one, 
getting ready to pull all this interior. I gotta be real careful. It's pretty, it's been sitting in the sun, so it might be brittle. So I'm just gonna make sure I want, you know, all these panels, all these panels, all these carpets and all this stuff. I'm hoping I can pressure wash up and put some life into it. Take those back seats, everything. The sail panels, everything. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I don't know if you can see, I'm dripping sweat, it is hot. I'm, I can't even see. Oh man. Yeah, it's it's gotta be at least 100 degrees today uh, and we're directly in the sun. We've got cloud coverage coming, it looks like maybe, just maybe. Oh, I really hope the clouds come. It's getting, it's getting to the point where I need to take my shirt off and nobody wants to see that. Oh, we're ready to cut it. I'm gonna start cutting here and Run along the whole thing. I'm probably going to cut the roof here. Let's do it. couple little snags but I think I'll be able to maybe jack the car up and uh, get through the rest of the way. So I think I'm gonna cut into this tail light because that's a short way to cut and then cut from that wheel well to the tail light. a lot of thickness right here. Rock and roll. Takes seven minutes to cut the quarter panel out of the car. Yeah, yeah. This is all live. We're doing this live. Oh, beautiful. We're gonna do the trick. Flip the blade here. All right. It's all the way through. Almost. Would you like to do the honors, Tom? They just cut the roof. Yes, sir. So we just got a couple more. There's gonna be some little pieces underneath to still get. I'm gonna let Tom cut the roof. I'm sure he's always wanted to. <laughs> I'm sure. I wanted to kind of save as much roof as possible. Just, I think no matter what, you're gonna fuck it. No matter what, the roof's getting destroyed. Go for it, just don't break that glass, please. I was hoping I was hoping we wouldn't have to. Sorry about the camera angle, guys. I'm trying to 
Wow, I can one hand this thing. Woo! And that's how you piss off the internet by cutting up a 240. Yeah. There it is. Wow, I'm so excited. Poor car. For those that don't know, it's flipping totaled in the front. This car's bad anyway, so. Time to make a beautiful 240. All right, you guys, we made it. Tom's unloading the truck, got the tools out of the truck. Here's that core panel. Made it in one piece, didn't break the glass. There goes that 350Z, sounded like. Cool, so we're just gonna unload this and make a big mess in the garage full of interior parts now. Here we are. Here's all the parts I was able to pick up today, all laid out. So we'll start with the big chungus. That's the entire quarter panel, inner and outer, with the glass and even part of the roof. Full door jam and even all the way up the front here, because even on my car, y'all saw the rocker here is pretty destroyed. I was able to pick up a driver's side door panel. Unfortunately, this door panel is for manual windows, so I'm going to have to convert it and drill a hole and refurbish it. Hopefully, we can figure that out. These are the interior carpeting side panels for the trunk. This is all the uh, sail panel interior pieces that go right here. And then um, along the back here as well. Those are for the rear speaker covers. These are uh, the back seat armrests. I've got the back seats. And then some more beauty panels. And then the uh, trunk carpet. It's actually like part of the back seat. It's like a kind of like a one piece unit thing here. So we'll separate all that and clean it. Is that everything? I think that's everything. I'm kind of standing in it, trying not to break it, but... Yeah, I'm really happy with how everything turned out, and um, you guys need to stick, stick around, and you'll see me put this quarter panel on and refurbish this whole entire car. You guys, I'm not spending any money on this car. I'm trying to keep it as low budget as possible. Like I said, the only money that's been spent on this car is the $7 that Tom spent on the O-ring. On the so... All it's going to take is just a little bit of elbow grease and some effort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stick around, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.